Hello and welcome back to A Boeing Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to the Boeing Company. My name is Will. This is an excellent day for the Boeing Company. As you know, last night, the TBM passed through the shaft at O'Leary Station. That means the tunnel is officially complete. That is great. It's great for this channel. It is great for LA in the long term and hopefully the world because this is a game changing technology. Now, I thought we could uh, have a look today at what they've achieved with this tunnel and why I believe this is a big deal. But first of all, to begin with, we want to say a big congratulations to everyone who has worked on this project. This has been a fantastic success. Elon Musk and of course Steve Davis, who is the main guy running the Boeing company, has done a phenomenal job. They have taken a startup with next to no people and built a tunnel efficiently, effectively, in a time effective manner. All those people deserve credit, especially those at the top. They deserve a lot of credit. Awesome videos to show you. Um, a few things I've noticed on the videos and I will explain them to you. Once it gets started, here we are. As you can see, the TBM has broken through this breakout area here. They're clearing the face of the TBM now because they intend to detach it in the future and then obviously lift it out of the shaft. If you look at the shaft itself, you can see it has been further reinforced since last time we looked at it through those pictures that we received. Um, you have these vertical I-beams which are further reinforcing the ring beams. Obviously that was necessary once they started uh, cutting through some of the ring beams to make sure this TBM could come through into the shaft. You get a better look of that on the next video. If you remember in a previous video, I noticed these lying at the side of the uh, site area and I thought to myself, I wonder what they are. I'm not entirely sure. I thought they were lifting beams. However, it turns out they are these vertical uh, columns that are supporting the side of this breakout area. This area is solid concrete. As you see, we have this uh, bow beam arch here. And I presume there is something else below the TBM, although I can't see it, so I'm not going to speculate on that. The, the ring beams here, these six ring beams, and the one below here, have all been cut. And these have been installed, these box section steels. Let's play the video. As you see, the TBM has lined up perfectly with the breakout area. There's been no issues with that. All in all, very successful. No problems there. The structure has withstood this breakthrough, uh, which is excellent. A large, large parts of it now are not necessary and they will be removed in the near future. So, what are my thoughts? Well, overall, very very happy with this this has been an excellent endeavor by the boy company everything they wish to succeed at the beginning of this year they have they have done everything is can be ticked off the box elon musk and everyone at the team could be very very happy go dot although it, it probably won't be used again it might be used maybe on one more project with some minor revisions um has been an excellent learning process for the Boeing company. We have had zero fatalities. One of the things that I was taught very early in my career is that the safety of the people or the men that work on your site is paramount. Nothing else matters. Therefore, the fact that there has been no serious injuries and no fatalities. I'm unaware of any serious injuries. Nothing's been reported. I imagine that would have been in the press. So therefore, that is a major achievement for the Boeing company. Um, it cost approximately 10 million per mile for one tunnel. The keyword being one tunnel. That is excellent. 
I expect they will cut that in half by the end of maybe 2021. By the end of 2022, I expect they will cut that in half again. So we're talking $2.5 million per mile, which then becomes game-changing levels of cost in that everyone can afford to do it. It's a lot more cost-effective than building a road. So it was relatively quick. I, I, I appreciate it was stopped for a period of time. However, that was not the uh, machine operator's fault. It was just uh, the planning process's fault. Uh, so it took less than 12 months to do this tunnel. So overall, that can be uh, seen as a massive success for everyone involved. Uh, and key, this is the key bit. There have been valuable lessons learned for both Linestorm and Proof Rock. Obviously, this is a learning process. This machine is not efficient enough to expand the number of tunnels in LA. That, that's being honest with you guys. What they need is to improve the efficiency greatly, make it much faster. Then they need to look at making it more cost effective to dig the tunnels. And once they've done that for Linestorm, they then need to do the same for Proof Rock. Cut the costs in half cut the amount of time they need to dig that tunnel in half and then see what further improvements they can make up until the point where they can do you know 100 to 150 foot per hour that would be a huge improvement on existing tunnel boring machines if they could do 150 foot every hour 24 hours a day that would be pretty special but that's a big ask they've got to do a lot of research and design before they get to that stage overall guys Thank you very, very much. We're going to be doing a, a shorter format of videos in future. I appreciate that I have been talking a bit too much in some previous videos. However, I, I've never, been, I've not actually done this before. I, I am not a professional YouTuber. Um, I am an engineer by trade. And therefore, you know, I'm not used to sitting in front of a camera and doing this sort of thing. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we appreciate all the comments below. Uh, if you know... If you think I could do a particular video on a sub subject that you want me to, then please message me in the email below or in the comments of YouTube. Thank you very much. Uh, please, guys, don't be boring, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Goodbye.